Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another day of love miss. I wish I had a, like a like a little sparkle, like love miss. Hopefully editing me can make something of that. Anyways, today we are doing a shop miss a haul. And there's a lot in here. Look at this. I can't even get it in the screen. Oh my god. Okay, let me just I already like took it, I already opened it, but I didn't open it all the way. It's still in this. Look at this packaging, you guys. This is like this feels like one of those floaty things, like a little floaty thing you put in your pool or like a, a pillow, you know? Like this this yeah this is like intense look at this i've been wanting to open this for a while <laughs> because this is just like such interesting packaging i had to show it to you guys <laughs> i think last time i got this everything was wrapped really nicely that was one thing i mentioned a lot in my last shop miss a video i'll put it up here if you want to see another haul uh they always package their stuff really well like i don't have any hesitations that things are going to come broken or anything so yeah this is like solid, man. Like I could literally chuck this thing across the room and it would be good, like good, good. Well, let's go ahead and open this thing up. I decided to do another Shop Miss A haul for you guys because in my last one, if you guys saw it or saw my try on, there were some products that I wasn't able to get because they didn't have my shade or there was like some products that you guys suggested in the comments like, oh, you should actually try this one, like the foundation. So this time I made sure to take that into consideration and get some of those. I guess I'm just gonna pull stuff out how it's in here. It's just all kind of stuffed in there. <laughs> I also tried to get a lot of the best selling products from Shop Miss A so that I can do another try on video and the try on video is basically going to be Shop Miss A best sellers. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. So first, let me show you guys these. I got three six packs of the Paw Paw wonder blender sponges you guys these are like my all-time favorite sponges i've ever tried now and they're really big for like being a dupe for beauty blender but i truly 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 like these more than the beauty blender these are so good and i decided to pick up three packs because i am thinking i'm not 100 percent sure yet but i'm thinking what i'm going to end up doing with these is Whenever I do a makeup client, I want to be able to use a sponge on them and then just give them the sponge to take home because it's not good to like reuse sponges on clients. And these come in a six pack for like $8.55, I think. Wait, I think I have my little receipt thing here. Oh, the prices aren't on there. Let me pull it up for you guys. <laughs> they are $8.85 for a six pack and $1.55 for a single. These are honestly the best sponges I've ever used, you guys. If you guys like to use makeup sponges, highly 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 suggest trying these out especially if you go for anything on the more expensive side when it comes to sponges because this will change your world and save you lots of money i also got a tan one uh well a nude one and i'm not really sure if this is the same quality doesn't really feel the same wait let me feel one of these close but this one's a little bit more firm i don't know i guess i'll have to we'll have to see how that is i thought it would be the exact same but you think it'd be exactly the same i guess i'll have to try it out before i like actually say that one's better than this one i have no idea but we'll have to see in my try on video if that like has the same consistency once it gets wet consistency mm, sponginess so the foundation, everybody in my shop may say try on was like, oh my gosh, you have to try the regular AOA Studio uh, foundation. And I think this is the one they were talking about. So I got this one, I believe last time I ordered Shop Miss A, they didn't have my shade, but this one is the shade Porcelain and I think it's gonna work for me. So I'm really excited to try this out because people were saying that AOA Studios, the Shop Miss A in-house brand has a really good foundation. The one I chose last time was not good. <laughs> It was not good. You can see the try on video right here if you want to see, but it was it was not good. I really, 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 really did not like that. So hopefully this one's a lot better. Along with that, I also purchased the AOA Studio Liquid Concealer in the shade Porcelain. 
This was $1.55. Oh, I think the foundation was also $1.55. This is its medium to full coverage. And again, AOE Studios has another concealer that's like a wand, like a, like a typical concealer that has a wand on the inside and you take it out and put it on that way. This one is like a, a tube. But I'm hoping it's still good. It says it's a natural finish, which is actually what I prefer in a concealer. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see how this works. The other one with the wand didn't have my shade. So I wasn't able to get it again. It never, they never have my shade in that one. I don't know why, I guess it's a really popular product. But this one was one, I think this one was also on the best sellers too. So we'll see how that one goes. <laughs> it's world jam packed in there guys. <laughs> I also got the AOA Studio Perfect Filter Face Primer the last time I got the Illuminizing Primer, I think. That was really good. I really liked it. This one is says it min, min, mama, minimize, minimizes pores. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. $1.55. And I got, well, I don't want to talk about those yet. Oh my gosh, maybe I should just pull everything out and then... Ugh. Give me my stuff now, please. There is so much stuff in here, you guys. Hope you guys are ready for all this, because there's a lot that we're about to talk about. I forgot how many freaking tools and like, I got hair stuff. I got everything in here, you guys. I got so much stuff. This packaging is no joke, man. How did they get this stuff in here? Oh my God. I wonder if they like put it in there and then they inflate it somehow. Ugh. Dear God, that is, whoa literally use this as a little pool floaty thing or you know you gotta take a bath you need a little pillow in your bathtub a hey, multi-purpose i mean reuse recycle reuse what is it recycle reuse recycle how does that go man repurpose no that's not right is it reduce reduce reuse recycle is that how it goes? <laughs> anyways <laughs> What next? Oh, I found a stowaway. I actually ordered four packs of these. I got four. <laughs> I want to spoil my makeup client. Wow, I have so many makeup brushes here. This is crazy. Okay. Whoa. Okay. That is uh, not what I expected. This is a highlighter. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Pressed Highlighter in the shade Refine. Let's just open it and swatch it. I expected this to be much lighter. I have very fair skin, so I'm a little scared that this is... Not gonna work for my skin tone. Oh, see, look, it's even dark on my hand here. I don't know about that one. That's scary. I think this was on one of the best sellers though. I also got a AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. This is a translucent setting powder in soft light. Oh, I forgot to tell you the prices of stuff. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Highlighter, highlighter, highlighter. Oh, you know what? This, uh, the reason why this isn't the same consistency is because it's a different one. This one's like $1. The Paw Paw pink ones are $1.55. So maybe this is the cheaper uh, version of the sponge. FYI. Now where is that highlighter at? $1. This highlighter was $1. Most of this stuff is $1. That's like the whole gig with Shop Miss Days. A lot of it's $1. $1 makeup. $1 makeup. I don't know why. Okay. I just... <laughs> Anyways. I found it. <gasps> It was $1. <laughs> it took so long. The list is so long, it's hard to find anything on there. So I'm hoping this is going to work for my skin tone because if you guys haven't been to my channel here before, I really struggle with finding loose powders that work for my skin because I'm so extremely fair. They always end up looking yellow on me or something. Like they have to be white for them to work. This one looks like it might work, but it does have, does have a little bit of a tint though. Hopefully that'll work. Oh my gosh. Got one of those things that are so hard to get off. Oh, okay, this is this is pretty light. I think it'll work. Okay, I'm super excited to try that. This is in soft light is the shade. What is this? <gasps> a eyeliner? I said I didn't want gold things. Shop in the same, one of those places when you order from, you like get everything, you're like, oh my god, I totally forgot that I even got that. <laughs> this looks so pretty, oh my gosh. Oh, it's got a little seal thing on it. That's nice, that's nice. Ooh, okay. I need a little, uh, let's just use my nail, it's fine. So this is a gel eyeliner in the shade, this is a, sorry, gel shadow. Gel shadow? I thought this was an eyeliner. Gel liner and shadow, it's both. <laughs> and it's like this, uh, it's like almost green, 
but almost blue. It's very, very deep though. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, okay. <gasps> That's a cool color. Ooh, I like that. I could do some really, really cool, interesting looks with that color. Ooh, I'm really excited to see that. What kind of look am I gonna come up with my try on? Ooh. Oh, look at me trying to make things work together when I order it. Okay, so I tried to do like an actual colors that go together when I do my look because that's one thing I didn't think about last time I ordered was that I just ordered a bunch of stuff that I wanted but I didn't think about actually making a full look so when I did my try on it was a little crazy we still tried it and made it out and everything worked out great but I wanted to do something that kind of like made sense <laughs> so I got a couple of loose pigments and one of them I just thought this looked really really pretty and I don't normally go for green shadows but green is in right now so I gotta try it, you know? Not that I don't like green, I just never really gravitated toward it. Whoa, there's so much in here and I'm, this is only $1, same with the liner. Let's see, wow, that feels so cool. Oh my gosh, it's like metal, it's like creamy, but it's loose. That feels so cool, look at that. Oh my god, Christmas look. <laughs> Am I gonna do a Christmas look? This is gonna be so cute. I cannot wait to do a really, really cool look with all these things. For one dollar? One dollar? And then I got, oh, the shade was Potion. And then I got one in the shade Orb, which is so stunning. It's like a white shade, and I think this will be so pretty for like inner corner because I obviously like a real dramatic inner corner and I also just love these kinds of things for tapping on top of my eyeshadow it's like a little moment you know a little shiny shine moment it's like three quarters of the way full it's like about to here so it's not like a hundred percent full but it's one dollar let's see what this one looks like whoa this is such an interesting texture for a loose like shadow or pigment is it pigment or shadow? Loose pigment. Basically, you can do anything you want with a loose pigment. I mean, you can do anything you want with eyeshadow too. What am I even talking about? Wow. Look at that. That is freaking stunning, man. I tried to wipe the green one off in it. <laughs> but yeah, wow, that looks so cool. That is shiny, 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 shiny. And then I got one of the liners. So basically these are all like best seller products but i got the i got some really unique colors but supposedly like it, the formula should you, you know would think would be the same across the board so just because i got like really crazy green colors and stuff doesn't mean that they don't have other i mean they have a bunch of other colors in a lot of these products so don't get turned off if you see all my stuff like ooh, i would never use that because they have other colors this is the artista eyeliner pen in green i'm freaking excited to try this get off it's the plastic i'm so excited to see what this looks like and it's a brush tip please don't disappoint me please 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 eyeliner gods please do me good I don't know about that one. <clears throat> Not so sure about this one. <laughs> Just love to see what happens on the eyes, but that is uh, pretty difficult to get out. Mm, mm, I'm not so sure about this one, but it is an interesting green color, like a deep foresty green color. Um, mm, 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 mm. Not so sure about that. Okay, then I got a couple of lip products. I got a nude, like an orangey nude. Orangey nude. A burnt color wow I'm really good at this like describing colors thing so I got one of the liquid lipsticks and this is the shade nude very creative and it looks like this it's a very like burnt nude color like burnt orange you know what I mean you see where I was going with that when I was trying to explain the color <laughs> it's very pumpkin spice-esque vibes very like nice fall color like I, I live for these kind of colors oh this color looks good with green i really did something here i got all these green things and then this good on me 
good on me. Shopping Lindsay really had it together that day. Normally, I do not, and I just, <laughs> just me adding Chris, all kinds of stuff to my cart. I'm not even thinking. These things are gonna be the death of me. Hello. So here is the pencil. Oh yeah, that goes together. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure, is this the color nude as well? It sure is. So there is the liner, there's the liquid lipstick. So clearly they do try to do like, make them go together, you know? I'm really excited about that liquid lipstick. That color, ooh. Okay, and now I think this is the last makeup -y product. I mean, I have like lashes and a few other things I wanna show you. Then we have a ton of brushes. <sighs> I can't wait to try these because the one brush I got lost, it was so freaking good. Let's see what this blush looks like. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Blush in the shade Dandy. This was, I know this was $1. Oh, what the heck? Hello? Oh, it's a twist. It's a twist. I was just like, why doesn't it? You got it. Just it. By the way, these lip products were one dollar each. Okay, this blush is so beautiful. <sighs> Lindsay had it together this day, man. Like everything goes together. I I really did it. I really did it this time. This is a beautiful peachy nude blush. I'm running out of room here. I'm gonna do it right here, like very awkwardly. That's the color. Exquisite. I mean, I wouldn't say exquisite. What am I even talking about? It looks very nice. <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk about all the lashes I got because I got a lot. I got a lot of lashes here. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's a decent amount. I love, I loved these lashes last time I got them. Oh my God, you guys, these 3D Foam Ink AOA Studio Premium Lashes. These are the $1.55 lashes. They have ones that are also just $1. I think those are the, I think it's either $1 or $1.55. These are so good, you guys. I have to show you guys up close what they look like. These are so good for the price. Oh, I think I got these ones last time. These are Yoni. They look like that. Really nice. This is Jean. There's a more natural one. Molly. Ooh, these look super cute. This is Jessica. And Tori, which also look really nice. And Voluminous. Really happy to have those because I really love those lashes and I'm running low on lashes right now. But I did just order a bunch from them and e.l.f. <laughs> so now I have a lot. Okay, lots and lots of brushes. So mm, let me show you this first. This is weird. <laughs> this looks so weird. This is the <laughs> exfol exfoliating mini brush for blackheads and lip exfoliating wand. Oh, oh my god, I was freaking on it today, you guys. I mean, not today, the day that I bought this stuff because I was thinking ahead, like, ooh, girl, your lips about to get real dry here in the, the, the winter time, which they are, like, just this past week, I'm like, it's driving me crazy. And I got a little lip scrubber thing here. How do you open this thing? This was only $1, you just cut it open. <laughs> I got pink because I don't know who I am, but I just love pink lately. And it's just like a soft rubbery thing that has a big, it's got these like bigger grooves on one side and then these finer ones on the other. It kind of feels like those little rubber scrubby pads that come with uh, acne, mm, not necessarily acne, but like cleansers. Have you guys ever tried that? Or have you ever tried the, the Foreo like things? You know, the things that you scrub your face with? That It feels like that, it's just that rubber feeling. So I don't know how this would help with blackheads necessarily, but maybe like with the lip scrub, that would be nice for your, if you have like a lip scrub and do it like this, cause I hate using my fingers to do that. I don't like it, but this could be nice. So I guess we'll try to do something with this. Oh, is that, oh, is that supposed to be the blackhead remover? <laughs> like a little hole on this side? I don't know. If that's the, I don't know if that's supposed to be the blackhead remover thing or if that's just there. I have no idea. It would not work for blackheads though. <laughs> I don't think. I mean, it's kind of sharp. I don't know about blackheads on that one, but the scrub and print, it's kind of cool. Okay, I got a bunch of hair elastics. I got 500 of these. They're basically they're hair colored, which is really nice. And then I got clear ones because I feel like sometimes I just randomly need these and I never have them. And also to put in my hair kit for clients, I thought it would be nice just in case like I ever need these for any kind of 
up to for some reason and you guys these are much more expensive than you would think they are on like amazon and stuff like the same kind of thing 500 for on amazon is like four to five dollars but it's only a dollar on shop miss a one dollar one dollar they have ones that are like uh colored too like cute colors okay all that's left is brushes but i want to i want to see this is a brush set this is on their best sellers and this is a brush uh kit and i believe this is ten dollars 10.55 and it comes with some brushes oh You obviously have the little holder here, which is like really handy. I use these way more than I thought I would. These are great for traveling if you um, ever are allowed to use leave our house again. <laughs> these are great for travel. These are good for like putting on the vanity, put brushes in them. I use these a lot more than I ever thought I would. I like to use them a lot even when I clean my brushes because I put, you know, dirties on ones on one side and then I put the wet ones on the other one and then I, what am I trying to explain? I like these very handy to have and then you have all of these brushes these all look so good like these look like really good brushes they're definitely synthetic but i mean you cannot beat this freaking price i think one two ten brushes plus the holder for ten dollars that's a good deal you guys that is a freaking steal and there's really good brushes in here you have quite a few blending brushes which i think are really essential um, and you get like a few different sizes and shapes but they're all like blending brushes i'm sorry the plastic is probably really annoying there's some of the blending brushes here they feel really nice there's a tiny blender this angle one another blend there's a lot of blending ones in here which i personally think are so good to have um for a makeup set because i use these brushes more than anything and it's nice to have multiples and different sizes of them you also have like a flat brush this would be good for cutting the crease or putting down just setting down shimmer shadows you can do a lot with these and then you also have one that's like a teeny tiny um pet. oh my god that is so finely pointed this would be really good underneath the lash line this is very tiny <laughs> this is very tiny can you guys even see it hello <laughs> and you get an eyebrow brush in here as well this bully on one side and it's got an angle and it, it seems like a really decent eyebrow brush like it feels good if you don't have a lot of brushes highly recommend this really good really 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 good bargain deal they also have individuals <laughs> I bought let me go through these pretty quickly but this was a set these feel so good you guys this is like a foundation like buffing brush it feels really good. i mean it's light so you can kind of feel that like maybe the quality of the handle isn't great but i think that for the price these are all one dollar you can't beat it this set came together for a two dollar so they're one dollar each but these are, are this is a really good set like this would be really good for a foundation and this is, would be really good for concealer or setting your primer on your eyelids you could even use this as a blending thing on your eyelids but it's a really good multi-use brush these feel these feel good like i i'm pretty confident these are gonna work pretty yep pretty well so we will have to find out some other ones i got is this one this will be really good for like contouring or blush bronzer yeah it feels nice i mean like they're a dollar so don't expect like amazing 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 quality but like honestly i i love these brushes like i think these are great i think they work perfectly fine and i got one of the another one of these f19 highlighter brushes i got one of these last time and i just got another one because i really really love this highlighting brush it was really popular on their website uh, but it's really good. It's such a beautiful highlighting brush. And then I got a foundation brush. I don't like to use these on myself. I just like to have these for clients because I use these a lot to apply foundation and a concealer and like primer and stuff on clients. So that's why I bought this. They are there if you if you like to use these. Good for great for face masks. Like really good for face masks. I love these kind of flat foundation brushes for that obviously all of these are one dollar i'm not gonna keep repeating myself <laughs> i got this i've never had one of these before <laughs> i just wanted to try it i've never used a fan brush before but it is enormous like this thing is freaking giant look at my hand except my whole freaking face this is gonna be interesting i feel like i'm not gonna be a, a fan <laughs> of this but <laughs> I'm hilarious, okay? <laughs> but uh, I wanted to try it anyways, because I mean, it's only $1, so. Let me just get it out of my system, right? Like, just get it out of my system, try it, and then be like, okay, you don't like those, okay? Maybe I love it. 
we will find out in my tryout video. And then I got four, which these are kind of messed up a little bit. So I don't know. You guys will be able to probably see here. The little hair has kind of got messed up. I might be able to reshape them when I clean them or something. But these are eyeliner brushes and they feel okay. They're not great. They're definitely not great. <laughs> probably won't reorder these again, but I do like to have these for um, really dramatic looks. Like when I was doing my Halloween looks in October, I was finding myself not having enough of these. So I just got four of them and they're really not great. I probably won't order them again, but they're there if you need these for something weird. It's like if you need these for, like it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't know, you can use these brushes for all kinds of things. Like if you like to actually paint and you just want really cheap specific brush and you're on there, like you're already on shop and say, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but just basically they're not great, <laughs> but they're there. And then I got a, are these the same brush? I I think they are yes so these are the e114 these are i don't know if they're the liner brushes or the eyebrow brushes but i use them interchangeably to do eyebrows and also i like to use these to put like a shadow liner like juice just, just use like black shadow and kind of like smoke out the the lash line i like those for that and i feel like i never have enough of these so i got two of them okay guys we're getting to the end here there's just one more thing i wanted to show you guys i love this so much this is i mean i've never had one from shop missa but i have my um very like the the official like brand that actually started this but this is a dupe for it these this is a little brush color changer thing so basically what you do and actually this, this actually works pretty good as you got a brush let's say you put a really dark shadow on and you're like oh man i still need to use that same brush for this other color you just like swirl it around in here it's got like this texture this like spongy texture and it kind of takes off any of the extra pigment so it's not clean but it definitely you'll be able to go in with another color without it so like the two shadows don't mix basically and you can just use the brush without having to grab a clean one you know all of that it just is a really quick little get the color off thing and this is like one dollar and these are really handy to have i think that this is so amazing oh and also like this part you can just take it out and when it gets really dirty in here you just wash it in your sink let it dry and just keep using it i've had my vera what is this called the color so this is the, the original one is the color switch by veramona and i've had this for so so long you guys so so long it's the same thing it's just thicker and larger but one of these things lasts me i mean i've never had to throw one away like ever so just getting the one dollar one bargain bargain oh yeah these are a really really handy tool to have so i'm excited to have another one Alrighty, guys that was everything this was a very long video because we had so many products to go through i hope you guys enjoyed this i love doing these haul videos and i cannot wait to try this stuff on with you guys so much fun to me and i hope that you guys will subscribe if you're not already and come back and check out that video once it's up it's gonna be up very soon i'm still obviously we are in the middle of december which is love miss for here on my for here on my channel here on my channel Lindsay's lovely christmas see <laughs> so the video will be up pretty soon here i'm going to be filming it in the next couple days and you guys will see it very soon if you want to come back and watch it um yeah i think that's all i have to say thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate you guys so much make sure to like this video if you liked it hit the notification bell all that fun stuff and i hope to see you guys in my next video which should be tomorrow <laughs>